everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial. And today I'm going to be featuring the Simon Says Stamp Meli Kaliki Maka Stamp Set. And this beautiful set was illustrated by Stephanie Lowe. And I love the beautiful detailed wreath that is the main image of this stamp set. I love anything that's nautical or related to the ocean, so this set really is my most favorite from the entire Fun and Festive collection from Simon. I started by stamping the image a couple of times onto some toned gray paper using the Simon Says Stamp Fog ink. This ink is going to create a no-line effect for me, but it's going to be easy for me to see as I'm doing the coloring. Because this image is quite detailed, I wanted to make sure I used a darker ink that was going to show up better as I colored. When I colored the images, I tried to make sure that I kept a highlight area. Throughout the coloring, I don't use a lot of colored pencils. However, because I made sure to maintain a highlight area as I colored, that allowed me to get the look of dimension without needing to use a lot of pencils. The most pencils I used was a total of three pencils on a single image, and that was on the bow here, which is the main focal point of this entire wreath. As I'm coloring, I'm also making sure to use my lightest pencil to help blend things together and create a smoother transition between the colors as I'm adding them down. I'm also not pressing too hard as I color because I don't want to create a waxy buildup. You can easily have that happen when you're working with certain types of pencils, including Prismacolor pencils. Now as I colored, I wanted to use a nautical color palette. Red looks so beautiful with blues, and a blue is a really classic nautical color. So throughout the images, I'm going to stick to mostly blues and teals. However, on images like this seashell, I will bring in some pinks and purples just to help tie in the colors that are in the bow. Now you'll notice I also threw a little bit of purple here and there into the bow. That was towards the end, I added that, and that just created some slight variations in color, but it also helped tie in those seashells like I mentioned earlier. When I'm doing the shells, I like to make sure I don't blend out the coloring too much. I wanna make sure I have those streaks of color because when you look at a seashell, they're very textured. And by making sure not to blend everything out too much, that's going to allow the seashells to have a bit more of a realistic appearance. So you'll notice as I color in these seashells, I'm making sure to maintain a lot of stroke detail. You can also blend things together with your white pencils. You don't have to use just the light colors. By using the white pencil, you're going to get a brighter highlight, and it's also going to help blend your darker colors together. I also like making sure to use some really intense, deep colors. So you'll notice I threw in some navy as I brought in some of these beautiful muted teal colors. The navy is helping to add some detail and some shadow to those teal colored seashells, and that gives the seashells a bit more of a realistic appearance, but it also adds some nice variation to the coloring. There's some seaweed pieces, and I'm also kind of altering the image a little bit as I color. I did add a few extra pieces of seaweed in areas where there weren't any, and that just helps fill in the image a little bit more. And because we're doing no line coloring, we can easily adapt the image to create the effect that we want. Once I finished coloring the image, I did cut it out, the outlines of it, with some scissors. I also wanted to cut out the center of the wreath, so I'm going to use a craft knife and the We Are Memory Keepers magnetic cutting board, and I'm going to trim out an area in the center, which will allow me to fit my scissors inside of there and trim out the inside portion of the wreath. You don't have to trim out the inner portion, but I really wanted to add some extra die cuts in there. So I'll go ahead and trim this out. It's very easy to do. I'm then gonna go ahead and pop this up off of an A2 card that I've created with some slate cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. That toned gray paper that I used to do the coloring matches so well with that color cardstock. This is where I'm going to tuck in some pine bows, which I cut out with the Simon Says Stamp Pine Needles Trio die set. Those pine needle dies look so nice with the images that are in the stamp set, and I really like how it really fills in the wreath a little bit more. The Simon's Stamp Christmas Magic Sequin Mix has some gorgeous sequins which really matched nicely with the colors in this wreath. So I used a lot of those to add some embellishing to the wreath, and then I also put dots of Nouveau Drops in there too. My final bit of embellishing was some dots of white gel pen here and there 
it helps add a little bit more fullness to the wreath and I really love the effect that it gives. For the sentiments, I used the Mary script from CZ Designs and the Coordinating Ornamental stamp set. I added the script with white and then the Christmas word from the stamp set is embossed onto some blue cardstock that I had in my stash. I hope that this video has inspired you to create a nautical inspired Christmas card using the Melikaliki Maka stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more inspiration. You can visit us on our blog. We have links down below in the video description. And thanks again for stopping by. I will see you again very soon and have a great day.